What is the deception associated with yoga? If you are a first time visitor, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe as that will encourage us to do more incredible videos like this one. And please stay until the end for a special offer. There have been a lot of lies that are being spread about yoga, not just in the religious circles, but also to my surprise, even in the corporate circles of the American society. It is literally everywhere. They are propagating that yoga is a set of spiritual stretching exercises that unite the body and the mind. This itself proves that anyone can take any word of their choice and twist it into anything they want others to believe in. This is what the Bible calls the massive deception, even when it appears to be a very subtle one. Yes, yoga means union, but it is not the union of the bodies and the minds. Do they even understand what they are talking about? Or what does it mean to unite bodies and minds? Just this one question exposes their ignorance and hypocrisy. I have explained all about yoga and types of yoga in the training videos. In short, yoga is the entire process for a human soul in its pilgrimage of 84 million lives to ultimately become one with the universe itself. Hence, yoga is the union of a human soul with the universe which the Hindus call the Supreme Soul. It is the process of union of a Jivatma, the living soul, with its Paramatma, the Supreme Soul. Hence, none of you should have anything to do with yoga. Please remove yourselves from all practices of yoga. Otherwise, even you will be sucked into its massive deception. If you need to exercise, then do some stretching, but please do it in your own private space. And please don't call it yoga. It is necessary for us to disassociate ourselves from all forms of yoga, as it not only helps us in our walk with Christ, but also we will not be that stumbling block to the new believers of Jesus Christ. So please keep that in mind disassociate yourselves from all practices of yoga. Please, trust me, please do this for the sake of Jesus Christ. Please do this for God. Remember what Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 15? We are to no longer live lives for ourselves, but for him who died for our sake and rose again from death. Now it is time for the offer. I'm also a certified nutritionist now from Stanford School of Medicine. So I'm offering a free workshop titled Three Secrets to Weight Loss. Interested people can check it out here. The link is also in the description. I will see you there. God bless you.